Hey guys, Sean here. Okay, now we're going to look at how we can use the band to help you get into a bit more of a deeper stretch. Um, starting off, we'll go for the banded glute stretch. See? So the idea here is that the band pull, uh, adds a bit more torque to the, you know, to the, to the stretch with it helping to improve the position of the femur within, within, within your hip socket. Um, that's that, you know, that might sound a bit technical, but all, it, all we're doing is just pulling more of a stretch on the exercise. Okay, so let's go leg under the body. The same as before, he's in that glute stretch, right? And then say the goal will be to try and move away from the, bo uh, from the band as much as you can. So just to get as much band tension as possible. And all, all he'll do is just move around, rocking around side to side, two to three minutes each side, finding where he's tight and then just hitting that area, hanging out in that area. Second one, hip flexor stretch. So we face the rack, so keep it on that leg, put it nice and high, put that right knee down on the floor. So the same as before, kind of what we're looking for is the knee behind the body. And then all he's gonna do here is just drive the hips in and out. So more of a, a slight, slightly more movement on this one, in and out, and then also side to side. So again, two to three minutes on each side, finding where he's tight, work into those areas. Third one, we'll go for the downward dog position. So in a way, stick it as high as you can. So anyone, anyone who's done yoga knows downward dog position. So from here, so this is now pulling his, his femur this way. Um, and all the focus is just to straighten the leg, squeeze the quad hard and then relax. Squeeze the quad hard and relax. 30 to 40 reps. So doing this maybe before you hit your squats is, should open up your hips slightly more. Okay, fourth one, and we'll move down to the ankle. So obviously hitting squat depth, you need the ankle dorsiflexion, which is key. So Z is gonna place this, the band as low as he can on his ankle. Same thing, he'll come forward, so the band's pulling backwards. And all we're looking for is for his knee to track forward as far as possible with, with keeping his heel on the ground. So you can get into a squat position, right down. So when he's down there, just moving his legs side to side. That's it. Again, depends on how supple you are. You can go into the pistol position. So this will just be straightening one leg, so then he's getting more load. Just hanging out down there again, two to three minutes. And then lastly, you can use the band for a bit more support on the squat. So we'll just put this band a little bit higher again. We'll stick it around your hips. So stick it just above your pelvis walk back and then we're just going to squat down and hold so, so drive the knees out and then all he's going to do is stay down there five six minutes just kind of relaxing into the movement you can then kind of push his knees out side to side to feel where he needs to work on perfect i see